I have just spent hours coming through all my code cards and getting them submitted so we could open all these packs on the TCG Live. And we're just going to get into it. 427 packs. Let's just get straight into this. Um, I'm going to try and go quick and just kind of see, like, just get to the rares because this is a lot of packs. And we have all sorts of sets from 151 to uh, Evolving Skies. Uh, should be, like, some Stellar Crown in here as well. So let's just get into it. I mean... I'm, uh, I've been wanting to learn how to play the game, the TCG, hence why I'm doing this, but Crown Zenith, so, um, yeah, uh, if you guys have, if you've thought about playing before, um, so for me, the reason, the reason I'm doing it this way is because I kind of... I've talked about this in a past video. I have some social anxiety that kind of keeps me sometimes from doing stuff I want to do, which is unfortunate. But, uh, so, part of it is if I feel like I'm not, um, if I feel like I don't know it perfectly well. Oh, here's some 151. So, like, I feel if I, if I don't understand how to play the game and I screw up, I think I think my worry is that I'll be judged or something. Anyways, it's kind of ridiculous. But yeah, so I want to be competent before I can hopefully push myself to go. Ooh, the evil. That's cool. Before I can push myself to go into the the card store and actually do that. So um, might as well redeem all my code cards. I've been saving all of them. Ooh, golem. Nice. I've been saving mine. I've been saving some of my buddies. Like For this... I, I knew I always wanted to play, so I figured might as well just go for it. Oh, why did I skip past that? <laughs> the click of the mouse. Uh, we just pulled the Alakazam SIR, so that's cool. I don't know how excited... Caterpie? Nice. How excited I should be getting about these because I don't know I don't it's not like there's I don't think there's any monetary value to these but um, it's still cool it's interesting like I don't know if they have the same pull rates like I didn't check um, so yeah this is this is a lot of packs and if you guys like um, opening packs or seeing packs opened then you've come to the right place Erica's invitation nice so we're just gonna chill. We got 400 packs to go. Like I said, I'm gonna try and skip through just like some of the commons and hopefully just get the hits. Okay, nice, Giovanni. Should be a lot of 151. Also, if you guys are watching this video and you've watched the channel before, some of you guys are sneaky. Uh, I don't I don't like try to give away the code cards, but I, I noticed that when I was redeeming them, quite a few of you guys had snake from the video, so good on you. <laughs> I just thought that was interesting. I wasn't sure if it was a good amount of one. It was pretty much only the 151. Um, so if I'm going to keep using them. Oh, Riolu. Nice. If I'm going to keep using the code cards, I might have to do a little bit better job about hiding them on some of the openings. So, yeah. Ditto. Lycanroc. Crown Zenith is a, such a fun set. Love Disc. So awesome. There should be... I mean, I think it got a lot, like a lot of the recent sets. Oh, nice. Kyogre. Um, there should be some celebrations. Um, a lot of Sword and Shield. Should be quite a bit of Scarlet and Violet base, I think. Quite a bit of Silver Tempest. Um, I don't think Radiant Charizard. Um, I think some Lost Origin. Uh, all the new Scarlet and Violet sets, for sure. There's definitely some, so... See how this goes. Maybe I should just let every card. Oh, another Riolu. Nice. Oh, nice. Charizard. Cool. Take that. Let every card at least reveal itself. Probably better for the video. Soul Rock. Nice. They're only less than 400 to go. 390. Rock a Rock. Nice. Okay. So we're getting some. Another Charizard. We're getting some decent pulls. 
I'm wondering... It'll be very interesting to see what if we get any like crazy cards like value wise I another Charizard I guess it's just kind of like you're just flexing on the people if you have them playing online so Damazenta oh one of my favorite cards I love that Raikou a lot of Crown Zenith Radiant Charizard again. If you guys are, have been playing the TCG, um, Eternatus, whether online or uh, in person, and you have any tips for me, like I said, I'm kind of just beginning my journey on this. I've just been playing with some of like the um, basic decks that they give you. Ooh, nice. Zamazenta. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't know how beneficial redeeming all these code cards are going to be. I'm assuming it's going to give me a lot of the currency, because I think once you hit some of the duplicates, you start getting currency. So that should be helpful. Charizard, Aurora. So, I don't know. I'm just trying to learn to play the game. Duskull, nice. Uh, the most, so I had, I didn't know how to play. Actually, from when I was younger, I never actually played the actual TCG, but Toxtricity, nice. I played the, there was a game for Game Boy. I don't know if it was Game Boy or Game Boy Color. It might have been Game Boy Color at that time. That was the Pokemon TCG uh, game. Magnezone, nice. And I knew, I played it on there. I also played, um, I used to play Yu-Gi-Oh! on, I think I had a Game Boy Advance game. That was pretty fun. So, like, I know roughly how to play. It's a little different. With all the abilities and stuff in the, the V-Maxes and everything. So there's Mill Tank. Nice. That's a super adorable card, by the way. So I do know a little bit how to play. But these are a lot of packs that we are going through here. Oh, Irida again. Nice. Oh, back to 151. Persian, Articuno, Vaporeon, Nidoking, Execute. I don't know how good the 151 cards are competitively right now. Um, but I've been using that Charizard, ooh, another Caterpie. I've been using that Charizard EX deck, um, one of the ones that you just get from the start. And I don't know if it's the same like HP and everything from the SIR, but it would be cool to have that Charizard um, as my EX if if you can if I could get it out of any of these packs. So I don't know. I haven't looked that close. Like that's kind of where I'm at. Always been collecting, obviously. Ooh, gold switch. Started collecting um, way back in the day, 1999, when it first came out. Um, yeah, I mean, had my Game Boy, had Pokemon Blue, um, I'm old, um, starter, first starter I chose, Bulbasaur, actually, I don't, I think he's probably the least chosen starter, but first playthrough was Bulbasaur, and then one of my favorite things to do was get a, get a buddy's, um, Game Boy, and another copy, and just start a new game. Get far enough where you could catch like a Pidgey and then trade away the starters. So you could have um, all three starters, which was kind of fun. That was fun until Pokemon Yellow came out. Then you didn't need to do that. You just got them all. Yellow version was so good. That was so hyped back in the day. I think I got that for Christmas, whatever year that came out. That was so fun. Flareon. All right. I think we're due for a hit here. Oh, Jinx. Why did they put, the, they put that EX like early on? Kind of weird. Yeah, I don't. I don't know if this is the same pull rates as regular. I have no clue. I think there was an option to see the pull rates at some somewhere, but cloister. We're just chugging along. B drill. Be funny to like master set this. Uh, master set this in the TCG live as well. Eradicate, Nidoking, Ponyta, 
Okay. More 151, energy. Rapidash. Poros. You too. Nice. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be this might be my longest video. If you guys are sticking with sticking with me through this, you guys are the MVPs. Venusaur, nice. We got some Paldea. Okay, we get the magic card. Ooh, nice. That's cool. Cool Pikachu. I like how shiny um, they make the the cards in this. Also, I'll tell you this. This is also something else I learned. You really start to appreciate um, like the basic Pokemon, the commons, and the uncommons a lot more when you start playing. Oh, let's go! What did I just say? Wow. Okay. Like I said, I don't know like how rare that is, but we just pulled the. I mean, gosh, I wish I could do that in real life. Pulled the Magikarp from Paldea. That was nuts. I mean, we weren't getting really any any other SIR Pokemon from anything else we opened, so. Chugging through this. More Paldea. I don't know if, does this, the code cards were all kind of like mixed up. I'm assuming it's giving them to you in the order you put them in. I didn't know if it would like group them up, but since it's kind of bouncing around from set Squawkabilly, um, yeah, I think that's kind of the case. I'm gonna just kind of sit back a bit here. Oh, it's blocking my face. I also have to set up Gyarados. More 151 here. Ooh, two Alakazam SIRs. All right. Very nice. Back to some Crown Zenith. Back to 151. Yeah, see, it's it's got to be the order you submit them in because I noticed when I was submitting them, they were we were bouncing all over the place. Daisy's help, nice. It's so, yeah. Um, if you guys also are this far in the video and you really haven't thought about playing the TCG, you guys really should. It just brings another aspect to um, to your collecting and playing you appreciate some of these other cards a lot more it's kind of like um kind of like fantasy football a little bit if you've ever played that um it makes you watch like in fantasy you watch other players and other teams that you normally wouldn't watch kind of thing it's similar in that in that regard we are just chugging through these daisy's help again more 151 Energy Sticker, Dragonite, Doduo, Bellsprout, oh whoops, I'm getting a little anxious here with all these packs man, Weedle, Farfetch'd, Seedra, you know, it doesn't quite get scratched like the same itch of actually ripping these packs, but it does do something for me, it is, it is definitely fun. And I think I'll appreciate some of the rarer cards like the more I start playing this. It would be, yeah, it would be kind of cool. I, I can understand it. Because you want your your deck to look all blinged out. Clarion, more 151. I know, I lost a lot of 151 packs to somebody out there. Snaking through these videos. Nice, Erica's Invitation, okay. One five one. Aerodactyl. I don't. I can't pull that Alakazam. I think I'm missing that from my actual master set. Haunter. Lyle Plume. Dragonite. Appreciate you guys hanging out. Once again, if you're this far in already, it's a lot of digital pack ripping. Figured, might as well do it big. I literally spent. Oh man, I don't know. I spent hours already getting these code cards and then submitting them, scanning them. It took forever, man. Putting in the work. And I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm not going to lie, I'm a little bit regretting it. Only because this is such a long video. I didn't... I thought I'd go through the pack so fast, it'd be not like real opening, because right? the pack's just open. But this is going to be... Quite the video. 
But we're gonna. Oh, what am I doing, Charmeleon? I didn't even get to appreciate the Charmeleon IR. I will say this for 151. I think my my luck in real life has been a little bit better than this. A golden switch again, nice. But it's kind of hard to tell when you're going through packs this fast. Like, I don't know. Oh, yeah. Okay. Is this the same? This is not the same as the other Charizard from the other deck. But, okay. Yeah, this is different. This is like the other one. Okay. That's cool. Got the, got the Charizard. We did just pull that recently out of a booster bundle, which came from so a... Walmart booster bundle. No, it was. Oh, I don't know if it was. It was either a Walmart booster bundle or a TikTok Blastoise. Nice. Oh, okay, mixing up. Paldea. Paldea evolved. Great set, by the way. Lex Ray. Back to some Crown Zenith. I wish I would have submitted these in a little bit more, like, so we didn't get so many of the same set in a row. But maybe for next time. I don't know how often I'll be doing these. Um, let me know in the comments, like I said, if you guys enjoy this. Okay, Obsidian Flames. Nice. You know what, we know what we're aiming for here. Gita, Togekiss, Obsidian. Houndour. Ooh. Not my favorite Pokemon, but cool art. I do, I've said this before, I'll keep saying it. The Scarlet Violet era, art-wise, is far superior to sword and shield to anything we've ever gotten it's so good just just from the art art perspective the amount of the amount of irs like gloom this is a great card um the amount of irs and sirs and just the quality the types of art it's top notch honestly it makes like so i've been going back and kind of looking at some other sets and just makes makes some of them like older sets, just Cleffa, nice. This is a great looking card as well. Tyranitar, cool. Make some of those other sets just the old art. They just don't look as good. Like IRs and SIRs is where it's at. And like something else that's wild to think about is like now they're doing like the rainbow stuff. Where are they gonna go? Like the rainbow borders, uh, I think look. I think they're awesome. I think they're pretty cool. But, like, what's going to be the next... Where are they going to take these cards eventually? Like, they just keep getting better. I don't know how much further they can go with them. I think they, they could also do some throwback stuff. Um, those break cards, I think, are actually pretty cool. They could bring back break... There's a lot that they could do. It's very interesting. I'll tell you what is helpful with this is a, a Bluetooth mouse. Helps. It's just like a like I'm doing a presentation here. A clicker, play it all. This must be I opened one booster box of obsidian. Didn't go particularly very well for me. I think that's where most of these code cards came from. I think I pull. I did not film that. It was at a friend's house, so I didn't want to be filming it. It was a little earlier on in the channel too. Old energy, which I man, I'm skipping past some of these. Right on. Lenin, Arvin, Dragonair, Gita. Still on Obsidian. All right. Got to channel some positiveness here. Let's get that Charizard. Oh, Pidgeot. Okay. That's nice. I'll take it. Toxtricity, Entei. I think I, yeah, I literally, I think I saved too many code cards, if I'm being honest. It's probably good that you guys got some. Whoever, whoever was snaking those from the videos. Good job. <laughs> More obsidian. Obsidian is interesting because a lot of people, Glamora, a lot of people don't like obsidian. Um, but the box, I think the boxes are like 117. Per booster box and people don't like the set it's charizard heavy and it's kind of lacking in some areas not a whole lot to chase 
But the boxes are doing really well. There's a lot of sets that, for like investment wise, Belly Bolt. Oh, nice. I did not pull this. I did not have that card in person. Nice looking card. See, even though some of those silly Pokemon, those cards always, they just all look nice. Appreciate them all. Um, but the cards, uh, oh, sets, sorry. Um, some of these sets, what we're seeing, it, it, it depends on the print. Like, if some of these sets don't do quite as well for like singles, um, what are we on? Oh, Fusion Strike, okay. I have to pay attention here. That it's still nice to know that the boxes can still be a good investment, especially if they don't get um, heavily printed. So when you're looking at picking up these cards from an investment perspective, it's it's totally different, and you never know. You just kind of never know what's going to be uh, a crazy set as far as investment-wise, because nobody nobody would have thought Obsidian would be doing quite what it's doing. It kind of got pooped on a little bit. In the same with. Um, like Twilight still is super shocking. Ooh, that's cool, Gengar. All right, Fusion Strike. Fusion Strike is a set. Rillaboom is a set I've not opened a ton of. So some of these code cards that you're seeing from these, I got from a buddy, uh, a work, a coworker that I used to work with, and. Actually, ended up getting like all of his cards. It's kind of interesting. Um, I traded him a welder, so super random. Um, for ooh, nice. I do like that Mew. For um, his card collection, he was wanting to get out of his cards, so um, some pretty good cards. A lot of bulk. Ended up with uh, some CGC slabs, kind of a lot of lower end stuff. Um, nothing too crazy except for a Shining Magikarp, like the first one. Um, that was probably the biggest card from it. Wait, Evolutions? Okay, hold on, we're going to slow roll this. I do not remember redeeming this. I remember, I think I've only ever, I haven't really opened, <laughs> let's go! Nice! Okay, reverse... Charizard and a Starmie. Okay, Lost Origin. Yeah, I don't remember redeeming that. Um, I don't really open Evolutions. That was surprising to see. That was fun. Lost Origin. I have the Giratina in a 10. Gudra. Love to get the Giratina. Not gonna happen. It's gotta have these. It's gotta be accurate hit rates, right? There's no way. I'd love to pull some alts, though. You gotta, um... I gotta give them credit, like the hollows. Ooh, Gallade, nice. Okay, that's cool. non hollow. Even the basic hollows, like, they look cool on this. So I gotta give them props. Like, the reverses look cool. Rotom, nice. I like how they're all animated. 273 packs left. Snorlax. Okay, we're back to Obsidian. I, mm, I'm a little trigger happy. Apparently the Eskew, nice. I think I have this card in person. I didn't know they could put like rares in the second slot. Cleffa again, adorable. Obsidian. Charmander. Togetic. Togetic or Togetic? I always thought it was Togetic. I don't know why. Um, Togemaru. Umbreon. Palafin. More Obsidian. Lycanroc. Greedent. Greedent EX. Okay, I'll take it. We'll take the hits where we can get them. Seismitoad, Inkay, ooh, that's a pretty good pull right there. Ooh, that's a good card too. See, ooh, celebrations. Okay, it makes me look at 
It makes me look at Rocket Zapdos. Nice. Pikachu. It makes me look at trainer cards differently now. Because, like, before I, I never really cared about the trainer cards. Now I kind of have a reason to. You have to have them in your deck if you want to be successful, so. Oh, nice. Venusaur. Pikachu. I uh, opened some packs of celebrations trying to pull the Charizard. Ooh, Zekrom. That's a cool card. Never pulled it. Maybe we can... Uh, maybe we can remedy that here. I kind of like celebrations. It could definitely could have been better, but... I like being able to chase the Charizard. It'll be interesting to see what happens with this set and what they do um, coming up on the next big anniversary. Groudon, Kyogre, Dialga, a lot of Pikachus. This is pretty much mostly like my experience of opening it. Yeah, very similar. Lugia, Kyogre, because I got a ton of these, all these cards. Reshram, Claydol, Mew. Yveltal, Groudon. Surfing Pikachu. How many packs we have? 250 packs left. Blastoise. Nice. Pikachu. Nice. So we got Venusaur and Blastoise. We just need the Charizard. This is a pretty small set. Might be the... Is this the cheapest? Is that the cheapest set to master set? I don't know. Oh, maybe Pokemon Go. Lunatone, nice. Pokemon Go might be. Lots of Crown Zenith. Dang it. I missed the Altaria. I like that card. A little too trigger happy here. Flex Ray. Sun Kern. Energy. Dusclops. Oh, Absol? Super cool Pokemon. Nice card. Crown Zenith again. Trekking shoes. Oh, Comfy. Nice. Adorable. I don't think I've had a video go this long. Where I need to actually be drinking. Oh, nice. Take that. Luxray. Come on, we gotta get the Charizard, right? Okay. Oh, nice. That's cool. Pulled that one before. Back to Obsidian. Quad Sire. Absol, again. Oh, okay. Here we go. Some Stellar Crown. Rhyhorn, building, more stellar. Um, I did actually open on here on the TCG Live um, some stellar already. Should have saved it for this, but. Building again. So we have a lot of these basic cards already. Marowak, Noctowl. Sloking, Lapras, Hoot Hoot, Melmetal. Area Zero. I hear that's a good card. Um, haven't used it. But here it's. That, that's a good card for the, the TCG currently. Lucario. It's kind of fun how they. I mean, it's smart how they change the meta. You, they want you to get the new cards. Crispin. So, oh, look at this. Battle styles? Battle styles. Nothing from battle styles. Other battle styles. 
Battle Styles is not a it's not a bad set, in my opinion. It's just temporal. It's a little underrated. Introduced alt arts, which I think is kinda cool. I don't know, there's a lot of Pokemon in Battle Styles that I like. Chilling Rain? We are all over the place now. This is exactly like my opening of all of these sets. Sword and Shield sets. I got burned so bad. I never... I never pulled anything good from any Sword and Shield. With one exception. Um, I did... I did an opening, and it's... If you want to go see it, I just did a short on it, but... It's way back... At, like, towards the beginning of the channel. When I started uh, filming stuff. I had... There was three um like collection boxes i can't remember which ones they were but they had oh dark gear does i love that card they had like one evolving skies one lost origin and one something else i think fusion strike like per oh missed that um per box and one day i just decided to open all of them so it was just nine packs but out of three those three evolving we pulled the umbreon um not the moon brown the the lesser the v and the Dragonite. That was... Especially with how crazy those pull rates are, that was insane. Never never had that good of luck. Um, our 151 uh, booster bundles that we just opened, though. Those were pretty good. <laughs> not going to complain there. But you can see all these packs I'm opening. Never... Don't really normally have very good luck. It's not actually usually horrible. Squawkabilly. Skipped it. My bad. Mm, there should be a lot of Scarlet and Violet in here as well. Um, I remember being really excited for the Arrow when it came out. And I think I opened a few booster boxes of Scarlet and Violet. So this might be a big Scarlet and Violet run right here. The Gardevoir SR is a stunning card. Really like it. I'm going to skip through some of these just to get to the end. Skeleturge. Let's see. Toxicro? Okay. I bet... I bet I'm pretty close to Master setting um, Scarlet and Violet base. I never actually put them in the binder to really take a look. I bet I'm pretty close. Pull the... Vivid Voltage. Look at this. Okay, we're mixing it up. Woofer. Dialga. I haven't opened much Vivid Voltage. I would... I would like the Chunk too, though. That would be fun. Once again, I don't even know if I would even use him in this, though, because I don't know if he's like relevant in the meta right now, so... Probably not. But so I guess maybe that is a little bit of a bummer opening some of these cards. Back to Vivid. Riolu. Okay, there should be some Silver Tempest in here as well. A decent amount. The Lugia. I still don't have that card. I like the Alolan Vulpix. Um, yeah, I don't have the Lugia alt art. It's on my list of cards I need to pick up. And I've been meaning to. But the unfortunate thing is... Brandon. <laughs> That's funny. Um, I have a trip coming up end of this, uh, very soon that I need to save money for. You'll be seeing some videos from Japan, so I don't know how much I'm going to be able to film. It's going to be tough, because I'm still going to try and put out a video a day. I don't know how it's going to go. But, going to Japan, we are picking up a lot of cards, so that's why I'm having to save. Save some money. I don't know how much, like, sealed stuff I'm going to be leaving there with. Professor Burnett. But there is one card I told myself I cannot leave the country without, and that is the CD promo Charizard. I have to have it. Otherwise, I am not allowed to come home. 
I don't know if I'll end up with it. a raw copy, a graded copy. I have no idea. Arcanine. But, um, it is Great Tusk. Probably a raw copy if I had to guess. I think the PSA 10s are around like 600. And I know that there's some stores that have a lot of PSA cards. Especially since PSA, I believe they have a Japanese location open now. So, it's, it'll be interesting to see. I'll definitely be picking up some boxes for sure. Some boxes to keep sealed, some boxes to probably rip. Um, probably pick up some Stellar, if, Stellar Crown, which would be Stellar Miracle over there. Pick up some Stellar Miracle to open. That will be fun. Uh, I want that Terrapagos. And it's a lot cheaper in Japanese right now. I don't know. Right on. It's going to be hard to... It'll be really hard not to overspend. But we are going with some other people, so... I don't know how much I'll be able to like sneak away and get like just time for cards. Although... I'll have, um, we do have some days on our own, so that might be where that ends up happening. Houndstone. Lots of Scarlet and Violet. It's probably the most Scarlet and Violet packs of any pack. Um, should be at least three booster boxes worth, so try and get through this. Oh, Toad School. Skipped it again. Going too fast. That is a very cool, um, I like that artwork on that card a lot. Nice. This is one I do not have either. It's super adorable. Like I said, the artwork starting in Scarlet Violet Base is just way too good. Slowpoke, Rio Blue, Curlia, Go Goat. Catch the kid. If you, like, seriously, though, if you guys are still watching this, if you're this far in the video, I really appreciate you guys' support a lot. I've been doing, um, Magnazone, nice. Daily Pokemon content. Um, for a while now, hitting, I was trying to do every day for, before that, but I've been hitting every single day for, I don't know, it's been a long time. Sometimes it's hard. Try to do different content. It can be a little frustrating. Do something different and then it doesn't do well. I had some videos that I thought were really interesting. But they just got absolutely smoked. I did some videos on... Um, if you've ever seen the vendor POV videos, which I'm sure you have. Uh, like Pack Battle and Bulbasaur. I did some videos where I actually took a lot of time watching their videos. Breaking down actually how much money they're making, how much money they're spending. Or at least that we're seeing on the camera. Ooh, professor's research nice um so i did those videos just tank they got like no views and i had some people asking to do more and i want oops and i would like to do more but just the reality of it is they just don't get any views at all like really really bad so it would be a little bit easier if i had a little bit more of a wide um different types of videos because sometimes the market moves slow, a lot of a lot of videos are market updates. But as the con channel continues to grow, hopefully I'll be able to do more Link Alone. I, I do like LeChonk a lot. Silver Tempest, nice. Okay. Um, hopefully I'll be able to do more like openings to maybe bridge the gap um, between having to wait for you know um, news. It's a lot of like news cycle or wait for a set to move, wait for some singles to move. It can take some time, so hopefully going forward I'll be able to do that. I mean, who wouldn't like to just be ripping more packs? It would be the way to go, obviously. Rush Ram, Silver Tempest, Ndidi, Rapidash. All right, I feel like we're, I feel like we're due for something. 
We're due for a bigger hit at some point with these packs, right? We're... Give me the Lugia, come on. Hmm. Indeedy. I skipped it again. I skipped Altaria again. I'm trying not to take too long on you guys. Superior V, nice. But I guess I'm skipping cards on accident because I'm just clicking another superior. Okay, collection limit on that card. Um, let's see, what else can we talk about? This is, just again, this is long. I don't even know, honestly, I don't even know if the video is going to turn out. Uh, because I haven't recorded one this long. I don't know if it can handle it. I know I had one quite a while ago that, but it, I think we hit like 20 minutes and the uh, OBS froze. Don't know if that's going to happen on this. We'll find out. If you're watching this video, it worked. All right. Less than 150 packs. We can do this. We're going to power through this. I do, I do not recommend opening this many in one go. Just open them. Flaffy. Nice. Super adorable. Silver Tempest is an underrated set. I think it's like it's it's underrated, I think still. So. The Lugia Chase is enough. I think it has enough bones around it to be a good set. Chestnut. Silver Tempest. I skipped another one. But we got the Lugia here. So sorry guys. <laughs> if you if you're actually here to watch this opening, I apologize. I will be much better. I just have to go at a little bit slower of a pace. It can't just be automatic. We wanna look at it and appreciate these cards, right? Nice. Four rates are tough, man. Lance Lance, Arcanine. Never, yeah, I didn't have good luck with Silver Tempest either. Metagross. Ralt. Ninetales. Honcho. Taria. Nothing worse than opening a pack and just not even getting a hollow. <laughs> not that hollows are worth much anymore, but in the basic ones. Stunfisk. I got. You know what's wild? I, if I had to weigh all of the cards, but I have like the bulk. Yes! Gardevoir. Heck yeah, this is like my chase. Um, I pulled this, um, should be on the channel. I opened a few Scarlet Violet boxes. Nice. I like that Gardevoir. I think that that Gardevoir is, uh, I know the pull rates were easier, but I think that the Gardevoir is gonna up in value. I think I got a few copies. I think I got a PSA 10 on the wall over here. Right? Yeah, I do. And I think I have a... I have at least one more raw. But, um... Yeah, the Gardevoir. I should check up... I haven't um, checked up on SV Base in a while. I know the boxes aren't doing so hot. But they did, they did have a reprint, so... The base sets never really usually do very good either, so... Kind of unfortunate. Because I think that it's pretty good. Paldea is real good, though. Have I not had any Paradox Rift? Paradox Rift is another set that's... It's deep. So many IRs. That's an underrated, undervalued set for sure. That was a creepy jinx. I can't wait to see where this era ends up in, like, five years. Because it's... Every era, every era is different. The amount of people that are into it, the print runs, everything, like, got the most people ever into it now, especially with what 151's done, bringing people in. It's just insane. Man, a lot of Silver Tempest. We're going to get through this, Tessarina, and then we're going to be back for, I think, some more Scarlet and Violet base. 
But there should be, I think there should be some more evolving in here somewhere. I didn't really open my evolving. Did we at all? I know there's some evolving. Silver Tempest. Poncho. Tuncho. Come on, give me the Lugia. Ooh, okay. We will take that all day. Probably not going to pull anything else now. But that was... Just, um... Picked up that card in a PSA 10 recently. Wailmer. Bobalion. I cannot... Um... See. Radiant Alakazam. I cannot see how long this recording is. Because I screwed up. And I cannot see the OBS currently. But I am wondering how long this video is going to be. My loop dick. Nice, that's a cool looking card. A lot of those lesser, um, like Trainer Gallery and um, cards like that from Sword and Shield are just not worth anything. It's kind of unfortunate because they're really cool. Smeargle, Dragonite, Silver Tempest, Meowstic. Another Alakazam, nice. I wonder how much of the extra currency we'll be getting after opening all these. Superior V, nice. Okay, back to some Paldea. Let's go. I wish it just would have mixed it up a little bit, but that's my fault. Back to Scarlet and Violet. All right, so we got the, the uh, what's it called? Oh my gosh, I've been opening so many of these, I'm blanking. Guard for. Oh, nice. Arcanine. That's cool. I've seen um, some people running. Or what's one of those basic decks? The Arcanine. Creamy. The uh, Arcanine decks. I don't know. So I don't, I don't. Once again, don't know if that's the same as the ones that are being run. It'd be interesting. But it'd be nice to uh, spruce up some decks with some alternate cards. So they're not all just like the basic ones. Brilliant stars. Brilliant Stars has probably one of my favorite cards ever, the Charizard B. It'd be crazy to pull that on here. Once again, I don't even know if I would even be able to use it, but I would have a <laughs> digital copy. Mustard. Okay. Mr. Mustard. Colonel Mustard. We are less than 100 packs to go. We can do it. Appreciate you guys. Once again, if you're this far, you guys are MVPs, honestly. Um, let's see. Those of you that are this far, I'm going to use you guys. Um, I just, we did um, a giveaway at 5,000 subscribers. Things are still, things are chugging along. So, uh, my question to you guys is, what, um, what should I give away? Let me know. We should do another giveaway soon. I kind of want to. You guys have been um, killing it. Again, lots of nice comments. You guys have been really supportive watching all the videos. Um, I want to give back as much as possible. Um, I don't know. Hmm. Let me, just let me know. If you guys, um, between like singles, you guys want like single cards or you want packs to open. Because uh, last time the giveaway we did... Ooh, Rebel Clash. Um, we did a 151 Japanese booster box. We did a PSA 10 where I gave the winner a few choices between. I tried to keep the value around like 40, 50, 60 range um, for all the choices. And then there was some sleeve boosters for the third place winner. So, we actually did pretty good. With that uh, giveaway. I was pretty happy with that. Paldean Fates. Paldean Fates is a fun set because of all the baby shinies. Super fun set. Yes! Yes! Gardevoir. Alright. I'll take that. I, uh, yeah. I did not, I have not pulled that card in person. That is a cool card. That is the Charizard and that Gardevoir. 
definitely are my favorites from the set. Along with the baby, the baby shinies are all, they're all great. Quad Sire, I skipped it again, sorry. 80, Astral Radiance. All right, we haven't pulled Vault the Sword and Shield. We haven't pulled any big alt arts, right? Okay, Paradox Rift. This is one I said was deep. I had a lot of IRs. Another Paradox Rift, but will we get skunked by it? Probably. Paradox, Joltik. Tinkatuff. Root Bonnet. Okay, we're back to Paldea for a minute. Combi. Paldea again, 78 packs. Um, also, let me know what you guys would like to see more of on the channel. Or if you want to see different types of content. Let me know. Yes! Raichu. Nice. Paldea is deep. Paldea and Paradox are deep. I, Paldea with having all the starters, like I know a lot of people don't like the new starters, but having the full evolutions with um, the IRs and SIRs of all those, like, that was kind of a no-brainer that it was going to be a good set, in my opinion. A lot of people don't like the new Pokemon, like the new starters, it's whatever. You get What a lot of people don't understand is that um, at least from the investment side and collecting even is that you know the kids are going to like all the the kids like all these new cards they don't care about the old old pokemon as much so they're all about the new ones okay here we go we got some evolving there should be there should be some evolving if dude if we i know it's just like the tcg live but if we pull the moon brown i might lose it Eevee? apple time it'd be cool Honestly, just any alt art out of this set is crazy. Even in the, even in this, you get, and then you get the building. All right, come on, evolving. Nuzleaf, and then we get the building again. Or at least we're getting, we're not getting smoked on these packs, so that's nice. Little pup, Noivern. Okay, I mean, it's pretty consistently, he's been giving us something. It's not the big somethings we want. See? What is going on? Sylveon V? I don't know. Every pack of this is having something? Except for that pack. Pinsir. I feel like there's not too many. I didn't I didn't have a lot of evolving sky. Sky's oh, code cards. Building again. I don't there's not a lot of Pokemon that I hate. But I hate that building. Building and the trash can, the Garbodor Pokemon, honestly. If you guys like them, good for you, but can't stand them. We gotta be coming towards the end of this evolving. Still more, okay. It's not a set I opened a ton of. Espeon, okay, I mean, we gotta take what we're getting. Apple. Alright, Paradox. I'm not gonna lie, guys. Also, just so you guys know, I have to pee very bad. But I'm pushing through for you guys. Anyone who is watching with this many packs left is a beast. I really appreciate you guys. I know I've said that multiple times throughout the video. But, and this is fun. Ooh, I like Sam. Nice. Pulled that card. These are fun. It's just a different style. If I had to guess, it's probably not going to do very well view-wise. But, you know, got to gotta break up the content. Like I said, can't do like the same same kind of videos every single day. Running out of stuff to talk about. Mimikyu. Some SV base again. <laughs> Skeledurge. Jock. Jock. SV base again. Cyclos are. My back's hurting too. I'm getting old. And you're getting old and your back's starting to hurt. I gotta pee. Just stop saying it, I gotta stop thinking about it. We gotta pull something sick here. 
for one of these. Dondozo. Rock, rock. Ultra Ball. Well, I will have a lot more cards to play around with for my decks. I have to do... Oops, didn't mean to skip that one. Um, I need to do some more research on what decks are, like, relevant. I don't have to, like... I want to experiment a little bit on my own, but I want to get, like, a good base. Baseline of what's what's doing well. Don Dozo. That's a really cheap IR. So a baby. Toad Scroll. Right on. Floet. Chonky. Fido. Speaking of Fido, that new, um, oh my gosh, I'm blanking on the name. Fido's Evolution. It's the Dash Bun. The new Dash Bun SIR from Stellar. I need it. I need it. I want it so bad. It's just so adorable. I think I'm, am I getting soft? I think I'm getting soft in my old age. <laughs> in my old age of my 30s. Um, yeah, I used to not like Pokemon cards because they were cute. But Dash Bun is doing it for me. I don't know. I like that artwork a lot. I, I, I like the Great British Baking Show, so. Alright. Ooh! Miriam! Okay! Let's go! There we go. About time we hit something. 37 packs left. What do we got? Bringing the energy still. Doing the. My feet are doing the, the dance. I, have, I got a pee dance. Dondozo. What else can we get from... Oh, you know, one of the chases that I wanted, which he's gotten screwed because he hasn't got any IRs or SIRs, is Gyarados. That was one of my uh, chase cards from... He's got like a... It's like a full art. It's not an IR or an SIR. I forget what that rarity is called. This one. Right here. This was my um, my personal chase from the set. Like, this is the one I had to have. And I got him. Got him. Uh, wow. That was weird. Asking you shall receive. What else can we talk about? Um, I also like the Arcanine. No, it didn't work. Um, but the same one, the Arcanine with the crown. Cool looking card. I never really hated the crowns. A lot of people weren't really big fans, but... Oh, man. This is a lot of packs. Great Tusk. Chansey. Small move. Ooh, Greedy Vard. Um, this card, super... Uh, a little bit underrated. I like the Gengar and Ghastly Rug. I have a few copies of that one. I think that one did well to me in my box openings. Cloth. Starly. Wug Trio. Bonnet. Okay, getting some variants here. Oh, we need that Charizard. Give me that Charizard. And Mona. Alright. Paldean Fates Charizard, come on. Come on. Charmeleon. Ooh, okay. Not what we wanted, but cannot complain with that. Okay, the penny. Take it. That would be cool to use. I don't. Once again, I don't know if that's a good card for the TCG. I didn't really read what it does. <laughs> I need to pay more attention to it. And I will, moving forward. That's why this is fun. Um, what else we got? Cerulege. Come on, give me the Charizard. We can do it. I would be asking too much, honestly. After pulling the penny. The odds are not in our favor. Did not realize. Uh, honestly, I did not realize I opened this many Paldean packs. Didn't think it was a set I opened. I mean, it's not a ton of... It's just when I'm adding up over 400 packs. And it's coming up. More than 10 times, it seems like a lot, but yeah. Super fun set to open, though. Shiny, I skipped past. Clive. I think I did pull that. 
before. Camera upped. Cyclozar. 13 packs left. We are in the home stretch. Pidgeot, I just skipped pass again. We saw it though. We saw it, right? You guys saw it. I'm gonna slow down. I'm gonna try to slow down. Lapras. Executor. Speaking of Executor. Um, that new Executor. The one where he looks like a Florida Christmas tree. It's another one I gotta have. I like the rainbow borders on it. It's too goofy. And I need the Execute to match the IR. Must-haves for me. Ultra Ball. Houndstone. Oops. I did not mean to do that. Didn't matter. Seven left. Armor Rouge. Palma. Tarantula. Crocolore. Charcadet. River Room. SV base. SV base. Damn, should have not gone quite so hard on SV base. Should have opened more uh, Paldea. Oh, Riolu. Nice. Nice. There's uh, a Darkening. We were talking about. Oh, no, that's not the full one, though. It's just the regular EX. No, the full one. The one that like matches the style of the Gyarados. Yeah. Alright. We are in the home. Okay, can our last pack. What? Okay, Shining Fates. Can our last pack do anything for us? It cannot. Wow. Well, that is going to do it for this one, guys. Um, this, oh my god. Okay, if you guys watched all of this Thank you so much. You guys are amazing. Uh, this is an hour-long video. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Remember, it was never a phase.